What's up, guys? Welcome back to the pod. And last week, we talked a ton about CES and some of the new technology hitting the D2C space. But before we get into, like, like AI stuff, let's go back to, like, plastic shoes. Because I walked into your office today. I did not expect you to have these on. I was rocking my canes, and then you come walking in, and you got them there, too. I, I love supporting cool D2C brands and yeah. cool D2C companies. So, How many pairs you got? I have three pairs. Now. I have three pairs. The gray with pink, the black with uh, beige, and these. Yeah, I just got these. These are the Limitless ones like that they, they just put out. I got the Brian Mazza ones, nice. and then I got the white um, with blue and, like, the orange little back strap I, have the, I think they gave equity to Mazza for that. I'm sure they did, man. Yeah, nothing it's, changes it's, it's and nothing a, changes. Yeah, it's a um, smart play. It's it's such a cool brand. And so what's, what's interesting and cool about this, and I, I think this is important for everybody watching, is, like, they, I mean, they're, like, recovery shoes. They're kind of like Crocs, but they're kind of not. They you have can, little needles inside. You don't feel them, but they help with blood flow and circulation. Yeah. It's just, it's a really, really cool sub-market. I can't imagine these are that expensive. Total, to, to put total together. adjustable market is niche but because it's so specific they can charge 80 bucks a shoe because they're 79 bucks yeah but yeah. worth every dollar yeah i love them i, I mean i <clears throat> i wear them as an outfit thing now you're fancy you put socks on i didn't put socks on for the pod today yeah whatever you know sometimes i do sometimes i don't yeah we're just living in the future man it is what it is love it shout out to kane sponsor the pod um <laughs> so let's get into uh what we're talking about today we're talking about uh ai in the D2C e-com space. And last week we started getting into it. We started nerding out and you were like, whoa, let's pull back the reins because there's so much to unpack here. And it's crazy, man, because I had a webinar today. We were talking about like email flows and using chat GPT to like write an abandoned cart email and then like a go buy my product again email. And you could see the glass in everyone's eyes. You could see it just like go right over their head. And this is like AI 101. Yeah. But there is so much you can do. And I know you guys spend a ton of time here yeah. um, between agency work and co like, where do we even start? Wait, like wh wh when you hear AI, like where, where do you even begin? Yeah. So I'm going to give you three to seven tips. There's no actual number. I'll figure it. I'm just going to ramble. And uh, this will help anybody that's just getting started. Uh, and this will help people become more efficient and proficient with things and also be able to even uh, let go of some people or have some people that you need to hire now. Because I think one of the things that you're going to see in the future is you're going to be hiring prompt engineers, right? Um, like we built a whole, we actually turned it into an AI agency that services all the other agencies uh, because there's so much that you can do in so many verticals. But if you're if you're in e-commerce, if you're in D2C, uh, one of the most basic things, right, uh, is optimizing your website mm. and looking at optimizations for your website. You can you can basically break it down into chunks and ask ChatGPT to give you basically uh, variations of your control, right? And you can create prompts like specifically and like change this headline to this tone or this thing, whatever. Uh, there's a better tool than ChatGPT that's a little bit smarter and just sometimes you'll see ChatGPT gives you very basic replies uh, and, and Claude is another one that mm -hmm. does more advanced stuff. So I would probably use Claude uh, for that. Uh, so are we talking about like, uh, I'm going to ask all the dumb questions today because I actually want to learn. I want the lowest masterclass yeah, in yeah. this. It's like, so are we talking like CRO optimizations? Are we talking like SEO? Are we talking about all of the above? Are we talking about the PDP level, the homepage level? Like so all of the above, SEO has other, there's other websites that um, if you actually just Google AI SEO, there's little agencies. They're, they're creating massive prompts and they're just kind of like either building prompt chains or like mega prompts or um, different things like that right um, to sit on top of that uh, for specific verticals but you can get your stuff SEO'd so you can create SEO articles with those sites and stuff like that um, but this is more on a CRO and really it's just to test stuff right like uh, you can grab your control keep it but then start testing different things with Claude and ChatGPT now that. also you can you can use it to do email sequences Right. You can start doing better card abandons and just there's a lot of times that people don't have card abandons. They don't have browse abandonment. They don't they don't have, you know, a uh, story sequence that goes, hey, thanks for buying. This is Terry. I'm the owner of Kane and this is my story and boom, 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 all that kind of stuff. So it can optimize your emails a ton. You can create free content, which, you know. A lot of people don't think it matters, but the more you create content on video and on SEO and stuff like that, you're going to get more. It's a it's building a moat around your business. Um, you can use it, and right now you're going to see uh, UGC is obviously a big thing, but you're going to start seeing AI uh, come up and have better conversion with those things. And I'm sure you've seen them on TikTok and stuff. Those AI generated ads with with yep. the voice and stuff like that. So you can use tools like Mid Journey and Dolly to create kind of the the 
the images and then you can use tools like runway to give them motion and make them motion uh, and then you can use TikTok for the voices um, you can actually imprint your own voice into these things using our company called 11 labs 11 labs that's yeah. what we use yeah uh, and it, so I, I have a, this is an email sequence you can build out for people right like to kind of like tell people that their product when it's coming your story if you don't want to shoot all those things you can use 11 labs to make your voice happen right and you can use that voice for email drops uh, or sorry text message drops but you can also use hey Jen, which basically clones you very realistic you have to teach it and you all you all, all with these things you have to consistently train it because you can make them your own and you can use 11 labs with hey Jen to basically create uh, version of you that speaks different things right so if it's for customer support or if it's for like a story or email sequences different things like that you can start optimizing those things as well so there's a ton of things that you can do uh, and that's just kind of the start of it you can use it to build out customer support tickets and you can build bots we're building a bunch of bots for people right now um, for customer support and for sales inside of uh, people's Instagram and stuff to, to set like <coughs> hey DM if you want a discount we're doing a giveaway if you want a discount for these things DM the word bot or whatever right yeah uh, and boom you have somebody talking there that also can be set up if DM the word whatever if you want support and bam you can have su customer support bots and stuff like that so it's a it's really great because you can create more engagement you can create faster solutions for people to feel better and safe because you know a lot of people have smaller businesses and even in big businesses some things get forgotten and so this this kind of fills a lot of gaps and it optimizes a lot of things as well yeah man that's uh that's a lot, right? That's a lot to that break is in. a lot. And I think there's there's places that you guys can like start, right? Like start on the page level on your store or start yeah. with email or start with, and we're going we're gonna to go into creative and ads and growing that side. Um, I, I want to talk about just like, and the answer might be, you're allowed to say no. Like, uh, so like on the support side, right? Like I say on the Gromit side, I'd say 80% of our support tickets are where's my order? Yep. Right. Like, is that something you can have an AI bot do? We like, could, and, we could and build you guys an AI a hundred percent. And, and it just goes in like checks, like yep. the sh best goes, Shopify checks, backend tells them and all that all kind of things. Things. Here's where like, it is. Here's what's going on. Um, boom, boom, boom. Like you can check for everything, yeah. report it, send you back your tracking, all that kind of stuff. Right. And, and if you want to refund it, you can create like a conversation with a prompt and tries to like mitigate the refund and like give you a discount of something else instead or whatever. Uh, so you, it, the, the, the big thing is you have to, if you really want to take it seriously, you have to work with people that already have. So all of this stuff is like custom made from us. Like, right. um, but we, you know, you can start with different prompts. Uh, if you push this out to, to the grommet people, we can give them, we have like a, over a hundred prompts that we can give them for free wow. uh, just for you guys to start messing around and understanding. It's not just about prompting. It's also about the follow-up. So the question, the prompt has to be specific, but you also have to give it a specific answer back. Right. And you have to sometimes treat it like a human. So sometimes uh, one of the best ways to talk to ChatGPT is getting mad. You're like, that's not good enough. Do better. It, it knows what it, that means. And like, oh, sorry, boom, boom, be more specific. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, Claude, for the most specific stuff, we found that is um, significantly better. If you want to create, if you're higher ticket on e-com and stuff like that, and you want to create PDFs and like kind of like, hey, uh, this is this this is a, something like brochures and things like that. Uh, or, or for like events, CES, like all all the all the paperwork and all, yeah. all the pamphlets and stuff you can make them all with mid journey and you can make all of them written completely done perfectly with claude and chat gpt that's so cool that's yeah. so cool and so all right so let's talk about uh i want to stay here just for a second because i think you said something super important so last week we were talking about will i am saying in the music industry that a musician it doesn't just need a manager and a booking agent anymore he needs prompt engineers and like so there's agencies, right? Yeah. Like yours. We yeah. can just go, hey, Los, like I want your agency to do this all for me. Uh, closer. Yep. So there's 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 agencies, right? Yeah. Like we can go hire your agency and you guys can help us out. Uh, wh wh where do I go? Like where in the hell do I find a prompt engineer? Is that, that, is that a real job? Like do our people, is, are there is, people that do this now? Yeah, we have we have some. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a real job that is kind of hard to find because we're training people to be that. So our, our CEO for that business is, uh, he used to run a venture backed AI firm, uh, like uh, SAS in France. And, you know, a lot of the stuff that Claude and ChatGPT created, like 
they were making. So they were innovating prior. But once that happened, they're like, oh, shit, they're, they're taking over that stuff. And so I, I picked them up and I was like, no, we can go down. The total addressable market will shrink, but it's just like we talked about Kane. Yeah, it's more specialized so we can charge more because yeah. we're really solving a problem rather than like, oh, I can book a travel, I can do this, whatever the case. Yeah, you can, but like at the same time, like you have real problems and that has to be solved in a very particular manner. Right. Uh, it can also be your assistant. Like it can do it can do a lot of the paperwork, a lot of a, a lot of agreements for influencer marketing, uh, reach out. I mean, there's there's a there's a ton of tools that you can do a lot of biz dev reach out for influencers and try to find creators and write basically like the contracts for them and have everything pretty much automated. You can start using ChatGPT and Zap stuff. So there's a lot of like efficiencies inside of inside of your business that you can basically optimize for and be informed of, et cetera. Man, that's wild. So Let's flip, and I want to talk about the creative side, yeah. right? And so ad creative, right? Like uh, doing meta ads, you need a ton of creative, you know, especially when brands are starting out. Like they do like one photo shoot, and right. that's all they got, right? right? They got, all right, I got six photos. And you're like, well, shit, I can run that for like a week, right? Um, like I've even seen it, like when we, we did uh, my son's brand on the sunglass side, like we uploaded our main photo to TikTok shops, and immediately TikTok just says, do you want us to use AI and make a ton more images for you? I was like, holy crap, like, you're just, sure, like, yes. you know, and it wasn't perfect, but, you know, it's it still super cool. AI in developing more creative for brands has to be one of the coolest things that's ever happened because you can do basically unlimited photo shoots with one photo or two photos or three photos. You don't even need photos. You don't need, fo you don't need photos. You can create better product renders than a photographer with your with your products you if you're doing clothing like we have a we own a percentage in a clothing line and we are creating new mock-ups and tech packs and all that by giving it certain variations of what was and and stuff like that and it's just creating everything and then creating the images for ads and stuff like that that you can use runway to make them like move and stuff like that you can also create stories right hey this is this avatar this is the problem this is the problem give me a solution as an ad right boom, and it'll do that. And then you can import that into someone else's voice. And then you can say, okay, mid journey, this is this, 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 create an old man that has arthritis that this problem solves and bam, that's an, that's an ad. Okay, give me three variations, bam, that's three more ads. And so you can really create a lot of stuff at scale. Now, this is where you need a prompt and for what we just said, you definitely need one or two prompt engineers because you just, a lot of people think they can solve this, right? Like when, when we started the AI agency, um, we're like, oh, we're doing this. Oh, I, I can do that. You can import you can input that in ChatGPT too. That does you can't do it uh, yeah, yeah, because yeah. you don't know how to talk to it. You don't know how to train it. You don't know like all these things and how to build it as a system. So you either have to spend your time figuring all that out or work with somebody that can kind of at least consult and show you or do it for you at the beginning and stuff like that. Yeah, that's that that's wild, man. Like I, the the side that I didn't quite realize that so you just said it is like I don't even need to do the photo shoot if I got product mocks. Yeah. That, my design Done. team sent or my manufacturer sent or whatever it is that you're just using that yeah. and, and animating it and creating creative around it and yeah. the whole nine. Yeah. And, uh, oh, I want, I want it in the beach. I want it in the sand. Now I want it in Switzerland. I want it in the air. I want this thing to fly like done. Like you can create so much more. You can, this is where people get to keep their jobs too. Cause a great graphic designer and a, and a director, like a video director, they know like, man, this is a story I want to tell. Now I don't need anybody to tell my story on how this should look, right? So you need the creatives for certain things yeah. uh, and you need the engineers for certain things, but now you don't need a lot of people and you don't need three processes because the, the editor, the video guy is also potentially sometimes the graphic designer, the storyteller, the editor, the, the, the writer, the script writer. I mean, you can create stories uh, on your content uh, that are just like fun. I mean, you can create uh, where uh, we were doing something for, for somebody and we we're starting like an animated series with them uh, just for their YouTube, which has nothing to do with their product, but their products inside that. And it's creating a lot of views and those views are going to return into sales. So you can be a lot more creative now and test waters with things. It's not going to cost you as much as like, <clears throat> that would be six figures, maybe a month to, right. to really do or whatever the case. Now it's just a couple people. I think something that I, I took out of this super interesting is you have to still have that creative energy coming from somewhere, yeah. right? Creative direction, creative energy, I think it's going to be more important than ever because you're right. Anybody can just say, take these, take these shoes, put them on a beach. Yeah. Anybody can do that, right? It's how do I tell the story with it? 
what's the direction, what's the feeling, what's the what's the, the package around it. And then you're right, like the prompt engineer, the yeah, editor. They know that, but they don't know how to talk. To, they don't know the analytical side of how to talk to it and how that machine works. Yeah. The other guy does. So that's two people instead of nine. So that's the great part, but I think right. it just makes creative strategy that much oh, more yeah. important, right? It's like, where do we want to go with this? What's the creative strategy? What's the story behind this? And then you're right. Then you have one guy that can implement all of that yeah. with technology. So you'll have specialized prompt engineers, right? Prompt engineers for yeah. email marketing, prompt engineers for like the <clears throat> businesses. Because a lot of people are like, oh, it'll replace your, your stuff. It'll actually like make us better because it'll really will be more of a necessity because we're, we're optimizing the things that you can use it, but you can't do it. It's just like you can run ads, but a better, a good agency can do it. You can do your creatives, but a creative agency can, it's going to blow it out of the water. It'll enhance certain things for the people that are just, you know, SMMAs and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. They're going to, they're not, yeah, they're, they're not toast. Yeah. So let's talk about, so there's a lot of obviously DTC brands watching this. They have agencies, they have people running ads for them. How do they work with AI? Meaning, do they fire their agency and go with an AI? Do they work with an AI prompt engineer that works with their agency? Like, how does this, how does the ecosystem play together, right? Yeah, so a lot of agencies, that's why we separated it. A lot of agencies don't do this, right? They, they might say it, but it's the equivalent of like, yeah, no, for sure. And they're testing stuff out or whatever. Like, there's, there's more specialized. Uh, I, I would suggest either work with a specialized agency and have them build everything for yours, you know, or have them in in addition to the people that you're working with, because these guys aren't going to know how to do it, but they can hit people like us and be like, hey, dude, I, I need 20 more variations of this stuff. Like, here's the stuff, here's the avatar, here's that. If, you ha if you're if you just getting started, you can use MidJourney and you can use uh, freecopy.ai or freeadcopy.ai. I'll, I'll double check with you guys here. Uh, and you can insert certain prompts and they already did a lot of language learning stuff and yeah. prompts for them that'll show you like stuff and it'll come out, the copy will come out with emojis and this and this and that. And a lot of it is, this is for volume stuff. People that want to test, that's fantastic. And people that are just getting started, you can do it. And then if you're decent at copy or whatever, you can edit and yeah. look at that, right? For optimizing and testing controls, it's fantastic. Man, that's that's fire. So so it, it's it's creating an ecosystem where you're like, all right, I still need a, a, a guy like my meta agency. I still yeah. need that, right? Yeah. But now I have this AI help that's going to accelerate that because I can test more, I can test at scale, I can have fresh creative, I can have fresh copy at a much better rate than than an agency right. ever ever could. Right, right. Yeah, yeah I, I think the agencies will specialize in certain things like that. I think later on, uh, ads, bidding on ads will be one of the, things that'll just be completely replaced, which will make the other side of it more important. Because really, over the past couple of years, it's already been like, if yeah. you're a gangster at creative, then that you, you can just then target, the algorithm you can target your broad, people. bro, it's fine. Yeah, but and I think that's where you're 100% right. Like, Meta's smart enough to where they're just going to be like, just tell me what your product is, and that's But if you don't have it. enough, if you don't have enough creativity, creatives, and volume, you're going to lose, right? But if you're like a super gangster affiliate guy, like, yeah, you're different, but you're probably optimizing already with AI because you know the, like, specificity of, like, how to make things work, right? Uh, so I think I think the media buying jobs might, might diminish uh, in that, but it'll only enhance the other uh, things that are needed, right? So how do you, uh, and I'm trying to think of the best way to ask this, is, like, we, in the e-com world, it was the same in the info marketing world. Everybody's a bunch of copycats, right? We all copy each other's stuff. Yep. Every ad ends up looking the same. Every creative ends up looking the same. How do you stay creative? How do you stay one step ahead? Because I could just see so many people that sell a sneaker going to chat GPT and saying, sell my sneaker, right? And you're, everybody's going to get the same. At some point, it's going to sound robotic. It's going to sound like the same answer. It's so like, how do we stay creative when we're letting a machine kind of do the output? So I, I think one of the best things is mixing AI with with UGC, it's it's storytelling for retargeting using AI. It's it's you. That's where you're gonna have to hire somebody that's like really uh, that comes from a different background uh, and has or maybe has some D2C experience, but also really is in creative and scripting and like in like a visual director type of stuff like that because they can see that and be like, hey, what if we did this this? Like one of the things we're doing. This isn't uh, D2C, but with, with our pool business is we're doing the split screen satisfying stuff. Mm. Uh, we're we're shooting out in in person, then we're split screening and we're showing aerial shots of like uh, this uh, tool called Structure Studios that does like 3D renders of of the pools and stuff. So 
as we're talking, you're seeing that, which keeps engagement, keeps moving, and no one's doing that because no one knows how to do that, right? Um, and you can do different things like that. You can be teaching something and split screen and create stuff like that, right? Or you could be telling a story and then using the products in a, in, in a more like, uh, in the ad becomes almost like a, a, a a video you're watching but it's an ad especially now with like the tiktok stuff you yeah. can use it to build media property channels and build assets right like uh, if you just gotta you gotta really think outside so like we're we're testing uh building out pages on niches so we can be super affiliates of, of things and and the, you know like dequan sold for 80 million dollars and if you can build a couple of pages to five million or more right you have an asset uh, and you can build that asset for people. You can rent that asset, whatever. I'm telling D2C companies right now, I'm like, you guys got to go build. Like, we're, we're doing one for a person right now that he sells candy bars, uh, protein, protein, kind of like a Lenny and Larry type of stuff. And I was like, listen, if you, if you make your Instagram page, your social about this, no one cares. It's candies and it's whatever. If we make it about health and, and anti-seed oils and this and that and find viral videos and then also clip in AI and like have them search and optimize all that and build that, now you have an asset that like all these people that have this in common with your mm -hmm. product will buy and then boom, you can sell your product, right? Because that will be a real people following it. You're going to get 10,000 followers on like your, your page because it's like, it's snacks, like it's whatever, man. But if you make it like about, you know, anti-seed oils, anti-cancer, like anti-inflammation, like uh, red dye 40 is killing you and here's stats and this and that, that people follow because they're like, a, like against those things hard. And then, you know what, you know what doesn't do any of that? My food. Boom. And you can do that with, with running, right? You can do that with sports, like apparel stuff. We're helping another company that, um, sells uh, apparel licensed products. I was like, dude, you've just got to use viral stuff and then like funny, funny memes, but make them AI. And that, that, that'll be like a baller page or whatever the case, yeah. right? Like uh, that, then you sell products, boom. Because I have, I'm that guy that buys these things, right? Instead of like, hey, here's my products. Here's pictures of products. Here's, there's no, there's no real reason to, for me to follow you. I'd have to be such a super fan. Right. You know, like I don't follow Kane. I just like them and I buy their stuff because what am I going to follow Kane for? Right. You know? Just more beautiful pictures of the shoes. Exactly. And we're not knocking them, but like that's that's the typical e-com brand. All but right, more pictures of products. But if it wasn't a Kane page and it was like, here's how to improve your recovery. Here's how to uh, like... High the, performance the, living. High performance. Like the, the whole yeah, deal. Here's anti-inflammation on your feet. Like I'll follow those pages. And if they sold me Kane, I'd be like, yeah, logically. Cool. Totally makes sense. Yeah. So... Let's go in the opposite direction. So something that I, my e hypothesis that I'm starting to build is that I still believe that there's such power in personality driven marketing, right? And using AI to amplify that. And I've been seeing this happen. I haven't played with it so much myself, but like I still want it to be my voice. I still want it to be Greg. I still want it to, and I know there's ways to like train it. Like I can say like, here's 400 YouTube videos that I've done. <coughs> Right. Yeah. Learn my tone. Learn my voice. Learn how I talk. Learn like. Did I show you mine? Hmm? I sent you. You mine, sent right? me one of yours. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and it was it was good. I told you. I think I told you. I was like it was a little stiff. Like the body was. Yeah. But yeah. the overall, like the voice sounded great. The like tone, like the words. And so this is this is interesting to me because I still feel like with what you just said, I think there's a huge opportunity in that. Right. Like go against the grain. Go against the seat. Like all that. Build this little niche community. Like that's awesome. But that also could be copied. Right, yeah. like another marketer, another brand can do the same thing and spend more money than you, and invest more resources than you, and 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 crush you. Personality is much harder to copy, right? Like we were talking about the Kane stuff, like the Brian Mazas and the Eric Hinmans of the world. And I don't think, think you can. Like that. I, I don't think you can AI that. I think that gives people more strength now, right? Like no, you can't be AI'd because yeah, you can get tonality, inflection, video, and all that kind of stuff, but dynamic answering on the dot like feeling emotion it's a robot yeah it'll do its job for customer support or for like email sequences and like hey this is updates that we're doing for you or whatever and maybe some content pieces you know depending on whatever uh, but you are you because you're you right uh and that that no 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 one can make you shine uh, because what's good about you people like you and i is like we're dynamic we're responsive we're in the middle like we know when to bring certain tone and when to like bring certain cadence and when to like reply this way and like how to like string things together for like a story immediately. Yeah. That's rough. Yeah. But, um, but there's AI can amplify that meaning like us shooting this pod. We yeah. have, to, I don't think there's a replication for this where it's AI and me talking to no. you, but we shoot this 
AI can find the clips. AI can do some of the editing. Yes. It can find some of the B-roll. It can make it a square and a vertical and a wide. And yes. just like, I think it's like amplification of that, which, it can definitely which, do which speeds it up, right? And then also research and top it. Like, so 100%. I, I'm, I'm trying to find this like balance of like, I still believe like there's no, there's no replacement for me being on camera doing this and you mm -hmm. being on camera and doing this. But I want to take this hour that we're spending together and I want to make it hundreds of hours yeah. that are, and again, this is content distribution. I've been talking about this so for a decade, but I'll, now AI, I think, gives us a, a huge unfair advantage. So I'll, I'll give you one of the things that we're, we're doing. Um, we have, we've built out this whole thing uh, where I speak into my uh, voice memo on, on the phone uh, for four minutes. Uh, this is for newsletters and stuff like that. That gets turned into uh, a week's worth of detailed threads it gets aggregated with data and turned into a newsletter that's well written. Uh, it gives LinkedIn blog articles and they get SEO'd. And now I, if I do it on video, when I do it on video, boom, we get all that. Then we get all of like double chops. Like we can, we can turn it into a lot more pieces of content. Uh, we can get thumbnails done with it. We can do all that. Like the, so my goal is by March on personal brand stuff, but you can do it on anything, right? Uh, I'm going to be putting out over 1,100 pieces of content by shooting basically one day. So this gets me fired up, right? I, I've always wanted to, and I, I played around with this, is like I want to just, while I'm on a walk, talking to my phone, word vomit, and that's my content, yeah. right? Because the best ideas, I'm in flow, I'm not having to perform in front of a camera, like you're like... I see there's such an opportunity there. And like, yeah. I've done it to where, like I, I used to use, I still do like otter.ai, right? And I'll just be walking around doing like voice memos. And yeah, I get it transcribed. Like, but I want to like, how does that become the content? And I'm in, and I'm, that I'm, has I'm, to be completely, so that is custom built out. So we have clients that we do that for, and it has to be trained and like optimized and all that yeah. kind of stuff. But yes, and so that that's where like, you'll need some, because you and I are thinking in the same way. Yeah. We want to be media companies, personal right. brand media companies. 100%. Are, like, uh, even if you're an e-commerce store, you should build media company. You should build a Absolutely. podcast, your story. all Because I think the biggest e-commerce companies that are going to win are winning because they either have the right creators or influencers or because they're telling their story as they're building. Yeah, well, that's the differentiator because the product can be copied. Any product no, can be copied. Nothing matters. Everything. Because no. um, that, that's, that's so intriguing. So Because like in my head, I'm like, all right, I want to do this like 30-second voice memo. And then it has to be longer. Well, but an AI magically finds the B roll to go over it. It finds yep. the music to go over it. And like, it's just, a, you know, those videos are like everywhere now, but I still think that content comes from here. Yes. As opposed to a robot writing yes. a script. That's like, if you're in the D to C world, like, no. no, it needs to be like, all right, let's go. Let's do like, and that's, the that's where AI it's the people that are going to win are the people that either know how to hire the people that know how to use AI for this or the people that are thinking like you and I. Like, because uh, just this conversation, a lot of people are like, all right, cool. And like, they start messing around. It's not that. It's it's a whole process, right? But you have the process in your head and we can work through getting that whole thing out into a complete system, right? And that's not, it's not, a, it's not necessarily, to really scale with AI, it, it becomes not a shortcut anymore. It becomes like hiring people again and like systemizing it or whatever the case. Yeah. But it becomes a level of efficiency that you couldn't pay for at the, at scale. This is 50K a month. Instead, it's like, a, you know, whatever it costs, like 10,000 and a couple, whatever. Um, yeah. That, that I'd, I'll pay that all day. I think that's the big thing is like, I think so many people are thinking short term. How do I game it? How do I create a viral TikTok video with Dolly and Eleven Labs? And like that's short. That's such short term thinking. Now, not everyone will copy, and so it'll look commoditized. Totally. And if you're just dinking around, you know, on a Friday night because you got nothing better, to do, like great. You should, yeah. But that's not strategy. No, that's not thinking long term. That's not like I was. Uh, you know, we were. I was talking this in the email world. There's the big February first thing coming. Right, where like Google, yeah. Yahoo, and yada, yada. And I was talking with the, the George agency owner, and he was just like, dude, if you do your stuff the right way, it doesn't matter. He's like, it ruins everybody who takes shortcuts. Right. It ruins everybody who I've never segmented my list ever, and I'm sending a, an email to a guy from seven years ago who's never opened my email. Yeah, it's going to screw him. Uh, you already screw that because if you're doing that, your opens are trash well, and your clicks are garbage. Right. <laughs> but like, it's just, and SEO is the same thing. Like, I'm having this SEO debate every day. And like, you know, does it matter if Google does this generative search and this and that? And I'm like, does it? Yes. But I still got to do SEO the same way. I still got to tell Google what my page is about. I still got to have links coming in to let, like, be authoritative. Like, the, 
the the foundation doesn't change. And with AI, the foundation doesn't change. You got to have a great story. You got to have a great personality. You got to have a great creative. You got to like, and then let AI do the work, you know, to, yeah. to help you out. It's amplification. Yeah. Tactics are tricks and, and they don't last, right? They, they build roller coaster results that you crush and then you don't because it's a tactic. It's a trick. It's a hack. Strategy and, and long-term thinking, which is the boring, simpler work, but consistency compounding is how you're going to build a business. Yeah. It's, it's super, like, I've always wanted, the, you know, us, where I was like, bam, bam, bam. And then as we get older, we're like, no, nah, just the same thing all the time consistently. We'll be here next year and next year, and we're going to win. Yeah. It's, it's, Consistency it's, a, it's not what you want to hear. No, it's but boring. It's, but it's legitimately the truth. And, and it also starts to calm you down because, like, you, you extend your business time horizon, too. Because, like, you know, a lot of times in, in any of your entrepreneur world, but in e-commerce, whatever, you see the screenshot. You know, oh, I'm, I'm, I got to do this, this, this. Why? Why? You know, and that goes back to another episode that we can have next week, which is just, you don't have a plan. What is, instead of trying to be like, oh, I got to make 20K, I got to make 100. Why? What is the goal of the business? What is it? Is it a business that you created a product and you want to see the world have it? it? Is it a business that needs funding? Is it a business that's a lifestyle business? Is it a business you want to sell in a certain amount of time? Those things never really get thought of. And there's like, oh, I got, I do this and I made this and I want more. I'm like, what, what, Why? what would more yeah. create for you? More employees? Or, Sounds like more of a headache. Right. Like, right. Well, what's the plan? And so, you know, we can do that next week. Yeah, love it. Uh, drop a comment. What'd you like? What'd you not like? What do we not cover on the AI side? I know I got a masterclass in AI today uh, because I'm AI behind. We'll yeah, say and, it that way. and if you guys like it, we get enough. Uh, if we can get enough likes and comments and stuff like that, uh, we can do a we can do a whole presentation on the whole thing and send it to you guys. Yeah, and I'll I'll, I'll get with Greg and we'll send you guys all the prompts. We'll get that in the uh, in the, yep, in yep. the description. Awesome. See you guys next week. See you guys.